Hello everybody, it's True Stu here, and yes, it's a model for two action. Here I'm using the Mini Uzi, and you may be wondering why that is, and it's because it is one of the worst submachine guns in the game. This due to its high recoil and low damage. However, it does have a reasonably high rate of fire, and this can be kind of compensated for by the use of extended mags, which in total outweigh the negatives of this gun. As you can see, I'm on Quarry, and this is probably one of the better maps for free for all. And that's because only half the maps actually use the other half, which is the opposite side of the map, is only really for boosters. <laughs> well, yeah. Anyway, let's get onto the spot a little bit. But first of all, what's that marathon and lightweight sound I can hear? The pitter patter of footsteps. I don't, I don't know why I thought that was funny. I just, as soon as I saw that clip played back to me, I was just like, bam, charts of fire. I knew that was going to play it and it's going to play it in slow motion. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed that little bit of a joke. But anyway, yeah, I pretty much placed myself in the middle of the high traffic area, which is usually one of the worst ideas you can do. You usually want to sit on the outside and look in at all the people running about like crazy and pick them off. But this isn't really the case because oddly, there's an area that only has two entrances and this is this exact corner right here it's only got two entrances that you can possibly get in and both of them lead to a choke point or are a choke point rather as you can see the doorway only allows single file and the other side of the area makes them go single file as well because there's a dumpster and I believe another big red dumpster or something so yeah you can pretty much channel them through those two areas block them off with claymores and occasionally look outside now, you've got to be careful when you're looking outside, like up here, you don't want to stand right in the middle as I am doing here, you want to kind of lay off to the side and wait till you hear people. Another advantage to this spot is the fact that there are spawns on either side of it, and both reasonably high uh, prioritised. There's one right to my left in the bottom of the room, as you see that guy just spawned there, and you can kind of hear them really easily because it, well, it sounds like some men, and if they go up to the second floor story, it'll sound like metal. And also, there is a really, really high priority spawn down the road at the T-junction. And you'll see some guys spawning it right now. I hear them and then know to go up to this and peek them right here. And the main thing that Call of Duty players do, as soon as you spawn, they'll just sprint forward. And then that way you can easily sound to them. However, they won't always sprint forward. Some, like this guy, will be killed. Watch it. I'm just waiting on him. Come on, come through. But he tries to shoot the more. Some guys like that will be killed and then they'll spawn to my right. However, it wasn't the same piece of person, but you get the idea. Pretty much everyone in this lobby is gunning for my blood right now. And here, I think I almost mess up, though I'm not sure. No, it's the, that's a safe one. But yeah, there's not much more to it other than the fact don't stay out in the middle of this area, if you get me. Like, try and stay to the sides. And this way, if anybody's sent out of the range of the Claymore, because they've got to actually come fully through the door to be killed by Claymore, obviously. So people can actually sit way the back, way back there if they want to and try and get you. But however, if you're just wary of this fact, uh, you can be ready for it. Here I get stuck on that. Oh, that's so annoying. They messed up the clipping so much in that. You have to like mantle and do everything. And I'll see, you'll actually see me in this gameplay do a little bit of a technique that most people know about. Uh, it's called peeking. And essentially what you do, instead of waiting in front of an object or head glitching over it, you I, you can either duck and stand, duck, stand, duck, stand, or you can move in and out of it. And this way, the if somebody comes around, they've got a 50% chance of not seeing you there. And then you'll move out, like, you'll move out and then you'll be able to kill them. Because what people do, if you haven't noticed, or if you haven't noticed it yourself, is they'll enter a room and they'll check the most commonly placed, or commonly, sit they'll check the most commonly situated spots for somebody to be in. So, I can't really think of a good example right now. But say, example, you're there, but then you, you happen to have your head ducked down, they'll instantly dismiss the fact that anybody's there and they'll let their guard down. And then obviously if you pop your head back up, then they've let their guard down and you've probably got the kill and it works out for me almost all the time apart from this one situation where I mess up and 
Like, uh, I threw a bit of equipment right as the guy walked through the door. I don't know how many times this happens to you. You wait for a guy, you know he's there, and then you just, you're like, okay, he's not coming. I'll chuck a stun and maybe chase him or chuck a stun to... I don't know. I don't know what I'm thinking. Or try and chuck a nade. And then he'll come through the door at the exact moment. Right there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep. Luckily, he wasn't able to gun me down with his G18s. I do believe I was on... 20 odd kill streak on a kill streak this nook. I would have been pissed. Oh, there we go. No, 23 then I was on. But yeah, and also, if any of you are wondering how I get low levels in the lobby, it's just random luck. I leave the lobbies with the hackers in it, and the hackers are always the 10th, which leads to level 70. Uh, so yeah, you always end up with just the noobs, I guess, because the noobs haven't hacked, prestige hacked. And still don't have the hack. But anyway, uh, if you enjoyed, leave a rating. Love you. And I'll see you later. Bye. Yay. <laughs>